Hello everyone. So welcome to a series of videos on financial accounting hub uh, in the context of average daily balance. Now, in the previous video, uh, we saw the that what is that we we saw the calculation, we saw the problem, we discussed the probable solution, and uh, we summarized that from source system we will have three accounts these are three different accounts a b c and in the source system end of day balance is this and respective adb is this and uh, we want to have this by somehow we have to have the same kind of data in fusion gl or oracle gl and as i just said in the as we discussed in the previous video that to achieve that we have to create two journals one dated first day of the month second dated last of the month and the amount should be calculated based on the sync up amount which we have derived based on formula so from source we will get this information and we have to convert the accounting for this in such a way that in GL, end of the day balance should be like this for those accounts and ADB should be like this for that account. <clears throat> now, so for explanation, I'm just taking uh, three accounts, new accounts. I have defined those. Assume these are the three accounts. So let us go to application. And this is the account. In, uh, this is a. Uh, you can navigate to the NI analyze balance from the general ledger. Period close. Go to navigator. Inquire and analyze average balance. So first, I would like to show like this is for account four, right? And the company is 1012 now at my case, but main interest here is the account. So let me query for eight. So let me see. Yeah, for the account eight, balance is zero. End of the balance is zero right now. And uh, you can query the average balance also. Period average to date. That is also zero. Similarly, you can do the query for one two. It is also zero. One four. That is also zero. EOD, that is also zero. And EOD for one, two is also zero. So, so I have already defined, okay, let me just show the application definition of it. So as I said that first day amount, will be the sync up amount minus, minus previous closing balance. Last day amount, the current closing balance minus sync up amount. And sync up amount is also formulated here. And we have to create two journals. So accordingly, I have, I have already defined the application. So let me just uh, change the transaction number here because I have already incorporated one transaction. So this is the header data. For the first data, accounting date is the end of the month. For the second data, accounting date is the first of the month. What we are going to do from the source system, we are going to get this one date, one, one account, one data. Same thing we will replicate and we'll change the data, the date only. For the one, we'll give the we will give the accounting date as first January. 
first of the month and the second i will give the date accounting data is 31st of uh, end of the month now let me show you the line level data so i just said there are three accounts so so this is for the first day journal transaction number so three different accounts 8 12 14 same thing is repeated here okay and the amount what we have to get is something like this we have to get the current closing balance previous closing balance uh, yearly adb for the current month and yearly adp for the previous month based on these things sync up amount will be calculated and okay one more thing additionally we have to get few more data here and these are what is the number of days in the current month uh, total number of days in the current month and previous month of the days so uh, how much day was there in the previous month so that this input uh, okay let me just uh, rephrase it total number of days means let us say we are migrating this data for the march 31st of march the total number of days will be january 31 plus february 28 to 29 plus 31 of the uh, march month so means total number of days till end of that month in the year that will come here since we are migrating for the january so total number of days is 31 then current month days here we have to give the number of days which is there in the current month for an example had it been month of april we could have done it put it 30 here and previous month of days means till previous how many months how many days were there in the previous month so once we do this this is the additional information so based on these things the sync up amount will be calculated and accordingly first day of the journal and second day of the journal will be calculated so let me save this file and let me save this file also so we are ready with the data file now let me check it So what is that we are going to what is our target i just showed in data file we gave these values and we expect that in gl also adb should be maintained with the same end of date balance that is our expectation if we follow the standard methodology i just showed earlier it will not work because in the standard methodology the monthly ad will be will be calculated as this one which will be different from what is required okay so i prepared the data file now let me import it so this i have already shown to you i hope the accounting method is closed yeah that is activated This is the file which I had created. Let me put it to UCM respective directory, Fusion Accounting Hub import, save and close. Sorry. So build the process.
So the step which I'm doing is self-explanatory. Uh, I hope you have the basic understanding of the uh, financial accounting hub working. Uh, how does the financial accounting hub work? So I'm not explaining those. Transfer, um, okay, everything is fine, submit. So once this is process is done, we will check the end of the day balance of those three accounts and the period average balance of those accounts. And that should match what we expect. Okay? So let it complete. It will take a bit of time. Still running. Once journal gets posted, we can verify the result. Import is there. Posting is done. Now let us query the average balance. I hope it must have been got updated. Let us see. So we are querying the end of the day balance, right? For one day. It's not yet updated. For the one account, period average, uh, period ADB is 28380.66. Let us see what was our expectation. Yes, this is the one. Let us check for the second account. Second account, minus 1900. You can see minus 1900. The third account, minus 480.65, minus 480.65. So we can see the method which we followed through financial accounting hub where we calculated the sync up amount and we created two journals, one for the first, that also we can show you the journals created here. You can see. Let us review the create accounting output. Yes. Okay, so this is the end of the month 31st january accounting is created 6220 we can verify this with the our calculation for for the first day
Now for the last day, the journal which we expected to create is of amount 6220. This is the, or with B, it was this amount. C, it was this. This, this is for the last day of the month. And for the first day of the month, two one eight zero seventeen forty six four thirty three. So if by using financial accounting hub, what we entered, we, if we see the data file also, right? Let me put the data file. In the data file, we gave these details, 8400 and the yearly balance. You can see, this is what we wanted to input, 8400 and this, 6500, 1900. Based on that, by using the calculation formula, what we have incorporated in financial accounting hub, we created journal in such a way that ADB could be maintained in Oracle GL. And that is what we wanted to achieve. I hope this video was helpful. So by using, to summarize, by using the financial accounting hub and the calculation which I just we discussed, we will be able to migrate the average daily balancing. Only point which I want to highlight here, we will, we will see requirement here is that the last day of the month ADB will be reported in the management reporting. So last the ADB of the last day of the month can be maintained by using the financial accounting hub. That's what we wanted to show. I hope this was helpful. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.